Um, okay. What I am, um, where I'm going to start with is, um, this is uh, going to be, I'm going to try and not talk is what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to t do visual. This is a standard coil. Let's see. So we're rolling now? This is a standard coil. The grand unified field theory. Inexhaustible energy, end all diseases, produce unlimited food, travel anywhere in the universe, fusion, vortex energy, ionic acoustic levitation, gravitons, the ultimate fundamental particle in the universe, the underpinning geometry of the universe, morphogenic fields, flux thruster atom pulsar. Okay. This is what the rodent coil, they named it after me. I had a different name for it. That's the rodent coil. I call it the flux thruster atom pulsar. But it didn't catch on. Um, that's my logo. Times divide plus and minus in one logo. That's because I figured out how to do all the functions of math instantly. Okay, the topic is called point energy creation physics. My company is aerodynamics. It's not the air in the atmosphere. It's the lumiferous ether as our very informative gentleman friend Alistair was mentioning. But it's an inertia ether on top of that. It's not a static stationary ether. The conventional education and training that everyone had is they still related to kind of as like a loquacious jello. I hate saying calling something a loquacious jello, but you know, with jello food colors and everything else, it's not a jello, the this invisible fluid. It's a pulse, it's a surge, and it has a, a, a vector, has a phasing, it has every attribute and property that we can imagine. And that's what we're going to learn about. Are you are you saying it's within 3D? It or creates 3D. 3D. It is, it is inseparable from 3D. It makes it 3D. It is, it moves, it's, it, um, your, everybody here is representative, is Professor Glennon. Think of it as if he, if he doesn't win your case here, then he, he doesn't, he goes home to his office and you all go to jail. <laughs> He's going to represent you. Yeah, you're the representative. We asked the first question. Um, the, what it is, is it's linear. It doesn't bend. The whole topic today is about the number nine. What, now, number nine's been a big mystique in everything we know. Cloud nine, a love potion number nine, um, the most great name of God equals number nine. In the Baha'i scriptures, Baha is the equation for it, 2151. We'll come to that. To answer your question specifically about number no, about this energy, this energy is the only thing that comes from the whole, from zero, the vortex. It goes out linearly in all directions. It does nothing can resist it. Nothing can resist it. It penetrates everything. It leaves its reticulation pattern. It leaves a grain. It animates everything. It is the source of the non-decaying spin of the electron. You take this energy away, and the universe will become destitute and void. Okay? But hmm? you can't really talk about it as linear, because that's reference to 3D. It's your z-axis. Okay? Um, you have your, your vertical axis, your horizontal axis, and then you have your z-axis, which is distinct from the surface topology okay, of the logarithmic spiral. Okay. 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 We will cover this. If this topic will reemerge, what we're addressing right now, every two minutes. What he just started will never be finished. We're going to tackle it from every avenue. Okay. It's going to be like a lion, and we're going to grab it by the tail. Okay. So this coil is this. What a coil looks like. This is a standard conventional coil. It's all parasitic. These were certified results from Hewlett Packard that I am indeed getting double the output, that our mathematics, our numbers were not false, that they were authentic. They validated it. And used millions of dollars of test equipment, and this is the rodent coil without the parasitics as compared to a standard coil, showing that there is not resistance compared. There is not harmonic discordance. There is not friction. My whole goal is to get rid of friction, to get rid of resistance, is to make electricity synchronize. And the kind of electricity that I'm making is synchronized electricity. I'm walking here like I'm a boat. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. This is a standard coil, but I'm going to turn it into the rotating coil. A standard coil is based on how many wraps you have around the outside. Those are called turns. And they say that determines then your magnetic output, inductance and stuff. It's totally primitive science. What I found, what they were shocked at Hewlett Packard is nobody could even say it's because of this. They tried to make up, they said there must be some other reason. Everybody said, but they came to the conclusion, it's what I've said from the beginning, it is the geometry alone of the wire that's producing all this extra magnetism. Okay. They said there would be a 20% savings in copper alone using this design for big transformers. They said even a 5% of copper would have been a mess. Of course, that wasn't my goal to use alternating current. My goal was to obsolete it and get rid of it. I'm a uh, just tear the veils down with a roaring, crashing sound kind of guy. And I, I, my goal is to replace it with a whole other type of technology, a whole other type of energy, and do it with a big noise. Okay. So how I change this coil, okay, we have two wires, okay, first of all, and this, it's, this, this is the best we can do on art, so please be, understand, it's, just, it's light, it's portable, and that's why I use these tarps, they're wonderful mediums, and yes, you can use my idea. Anytime you need to make a presentation, it only costs $7, and it sure beats a $500 sign from a, a retail. So, and these are, uh, I'm using dry erase, and these other ones were permanent markers, and it's the big tip. Okay, so what I did was I had two wires. One's red, one's blue. One of them, the electricity goes out. The other one, the electricity goes in. Everyone follow me? Pretty easy? In one of, and now it's always based on thirds. It's called a binary triplet, okay? It's real important, this, the fact that I'm talking about something that's binary, but it's really a binary thirds. And I know that's a mind boggler. How can that be? But I'll show you. Okay, so... The third, you always leave alone. It's an empty space. You don't put anything there. That's where the etheron flux magnetic field. In other words, we'll just say that's where the field occurs. Okay? Are you doing your coil now? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn it into my coil. Right now, it's a conventional coil. See how steep the slope is? That's a normal coil. The rodent coil, it's a very gradual type incline. See how slow it twirls in, like water in a whirlpool? Okay? It's as least acute incline as you can have in winding this coil on this bit, with, using three parts. Any questions, Charlie? Well, I'm, I, I feel pretty ignorant in asking this, but you have to have alternating current to, mm -mm. to generate that magnetic field. I'm using, and it's only from how I interpret my numbers. I think it's PDC, pulse direct current. To tell you the truth, though, I didn't make this coil. I'm not the electrical engineer. I am... Um, we all know I'm the presenter today, okay? And I hate to say that, that I, I'm not the person who does all this stuff. Essentially, you, Charlie, and everyone else are going to have to be the one who's going to have to coax out of these inventions how to activate them and how to harness it, okay? And that's what it takes in electrical engineering. You just don't go and give any electrical engineer an invention, a coil, and say, turn it on. They have to play with it. They have to... Finesse. They have to have a finesse to, to, what would be a term for it? To, to warm, to, you have to massage it. Okay, you have to massage the coil. You have to work with the different types of sine waves. You have to work with the different types of voltage. A lot of people say it's not an electrical coil. They say it's a field generator coil. It's totally different than an electrical coil. Okay. okay. And that's certainly true because the magnetic field on this coil They've, they've never seen a, a magnetic field like this. The, the field is not, like the standard conventional coil, the field is contained in the torus, and they don't have to shield it. And the FDC, what is it, FCC, uh, the airplanes, whatever, they, they're happy with these kind of coils because they don't need shielding. But the rodent coil doesn't have its field on the inside. My coil is a total inversion type coil. All my field is evenly distributed over the surface of the coil. It's just the opposite of what the other one's doing. I better, I think we should share names. Okay? We'll start this way, we'll come around. Kiva. Hi, Kiva. Govin. 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 Yeah, Govin. Hi, Govin. Jiva. Jiva. Maj. Maj. Judy. Judy. 
Charlie. Charlie. Sunshine. Sunshine. Brian. Brian. And Marco Urban Bob. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Now. So, in turning this into a rodent coil, how I do it is I go from um, one to two, okay? So the blue wire here will go all the way across through the vortex and will go over here to connect to there. And then two will go to three. It'll come out over here. It's kind of hard to tell where it comes out. So I just better go like that. It'll go like this. And then three will go to four over here. Where's four? Right here. Okay. And it's going in spires. Okay. So, and then um, one, two, three. And then four will go to five. Is that right? Which is way over here. Now the important thing is, is I began at one. I passed it on the one, two, on the third time around. It's already going in spires, these wires. Normal coils, they just begin, go around, and stop where they began. But what I'm doing is I'm actually building a star, okay, which is real significant. Okay. And now here's the thing. Once you pass in the spire here and across this to here, this winding is at a right angle to that winding. All my fields now have a unique angle to them. And on top of it, I'm creating, but you can't see it, I do have a chart on it, an invisible polarization in between the spires where they pass each other. Okay, does everyone follow that a little bit? It's okay. I just wanted you to see this chart and just get an idea how it's wound. Now there's two wires, so that was the blue wire, so the red wire would have been doing the same thing, um, which would have been going one, two, and it's the space, remember, is always in between them, um, three, where next? Um, one, two, that wasn't three, that was four. Well, well, well. Three's across from it. Three's over here. There we go. Three. Three, four, five. All righty. Thank you. Is that one winding you're saying? Two. It's two windings. The red and the No. What? Separate circuits, separate wires, not ever to be related. Two windings. It's a bifilier coil. There's two windings. Exactly right. Just like male, female. There's, it's a duality. Except there's a, it's really trinary because an invisible space in between. But the red and the blue, the blue are the two windings. Exactly. Okay. Right. right. And the white is the higher dimensional energy, okay. Okay, which is going to be explaining you number nine. Hmm? Is it interesting? Uh, no, I was trying to figure out what you, what you meant by a one winding, because it's going to three different, that's going to... Uh, it's one wire that eventually comes around. Now we're going to look at it on an easier chart. So we'll look at a chart that depicts it a little bit easier. Okay. Let's see if I have where that chart is. Here it is. Okay. So the chart that depicts that a little is this one right here. This is one winding. This is the other winding. And the space is always represented by 396. Six, 3 plus 6 equals 9. 3 and 3 is 6. Uh, so the dotted line is always 3 and 6. 3. It's going 3, 6. Anything that's a multiple of 3, you leave alone. Okay, so here's the windings, and a half, so one goes to here, to here, to here, here's your right angle. One and ten are right angles to one another, which was the third one, one, two, three, now we're on the fourth. Everyone follow that? And this is one wire, this is two wire, but I have to separate them, because when you look at this, you can't tell that there's two together. Okay, this is the construct for perfection for everything in the universe is based on that which you will know shortly. They also use this to produce fusion. This is a fusion reactor. And um, 